This is a Bangalore torpedo, a thin metal tube packed with TNT, invented by the British many years ago at the Bangalore Cantonment in India. It was used in the last war, and it's being used today wherever men are fighting. Bangalore's come in convenient boxes containing 10 sections. Here's a diagram of a Bangalore. Each section five feet long and two and an eighth inches in diameter weighs 14 pounds. The waterproof case is 20 gauge sheet metal. It contains an explosive of Amatol with crystal and TNT at each end to ensure detonation. It's the fragmentation of the metal case which does the work in breaching barbed wire. Easy to handle, sections are joined together with sleeves. The spring clips effectively prevent the sections from being pulled apart. A nose sleeve prevents wires, brush, and other obstacles from catching onto the front end when you shove it through a field. At the end of each section is a well about three inches deep. Either electric or non-electric caps can be inserted in this well and used as a primer. Here an electric cap is being used and kept secure with a half hitch. What you'll find most of the time, you'll be using the non-electric cap, time fuse and fuse lighter wedged in place with a small piece of wood. The well is also threaded to take the standard anti-personnel firing devices like this pull type. If you want to explode several torpedoes simultaneously, use Primacord. The branch lines are connected to the main Primacord line, placed into the wells of the torpedoes and wedged there with a piece of wood. When you haven't a manufactured torpedo, you may have to improvise one. A thin metal casing packed with at least two pounds of high explosive per foot will do the trick. Here, broken TNT is packed solidly around the standard blocks to ensure complete detonation. The primer is one block with three turns of Primacord. A wooden plug keeps the explosive from falling out. You can prepare detonating assemblies by crimping a non-electric cap to one end of the time fuse. Tape about 18 inches of Primacord to the cap. Now insert the other end of the fuse into the fuse lighter. This assembly will explode an improvised Bangalore quickly and efficiently. One way of joining these sections is by using a wooden plug and by tying the Primacord lead. You'll find this is a good method of holding the Bangalore rigid. This improvised torpedo isn't as fancy as the manufactured variety, but as you'll see in a minute, it does the very same job. Now to explode it, 
Use a square knot to connect the primer cord lead to the detonator assembly. Pull the lighter, then take cover. A board with explosives lashed to it can be used against barbed wire. But to make up for the cutting effect of the metal case, you'll need more explosive, at least four pounds per foot. In the tropics, bamboo can be used as a container. When you're shoving a Bangalore out, keep your tail down. The wire may well be covered by snipers or machine gun fire. Don't lose the advantage of surprise or your tail by carelessness. Shove the torpedo completely through and perpendicular to the barbed wire. Make it touch as many long pickets as possible. To take the enemy unawares, don't fire the torpedo until the last possible moment. Then, run for cover and watch the fun. There's the gap we wanted. Just what we can expect from the Bangalore. A 15-foot channel through any known type of entanglement, and the ground is left uncratered so our men can get through fast. Although it's best not to substitute the Bangalore for ordinary explosives, it can, when necessary, be used in several ways. As, for example, a pressure charge in a bridge demolition. Notice the torpedoes are well tamped with sandbags for effective detonation. The Bangalore is effective too when an elongated charge is needed. The Bangalore's metal case makes it a deadly anti-personnel mine, especially when hung in trees or bushes to give its fragments maximum range. Any igniter, standard or improvised, can be used. Concealment is, of course, especially important. But blasting gaps through wire entanglements, that's the important work of the Bangalore torpedoes.